I first heard about Betty French when some friends told me about an 86-year-old woman from their village who has a barn on a hill where she keeps rescued animals. There was a rumor that she had once shot a man in the backside with a double-barreled shotgun and set fire to one of her husbands when she caught him cheating on her. I need more practice. I should have had it the first time. When I first speak to Betty, she tells me, Kid, I never liked the city. I think I know why you wanted to come. You can stay in the old caravan and help with my animals. I have a bullet called Tyson that'll eat an orange out of your hand. Jinxie, boy. He's eating the broccoli by breaking it off on your hat. She's cut on her leg as well, isn't she? I can't get in there. Well, I've got to get in there to get it, unless you were going to get in there and do it. Will you? I'll do it, yeah. Don't make too much fuss about it and get on the knife. You're shaking as much as you are. You're going to get her and she ain't going to stand. I'm doing it. Just get in quick and do it. Come on, old girl. Come on. There's a good girl. Did you get some? I got it. You see? Right, let's have that. Only the longer, see, you don't want to be going up to a Kogan. That starts them. They, they not bloody dull, you know. They know. And they think to myself, what's this bloody idiot shaking like hell for? You want to shake it long before you come, yeah? Shall I do it again? No, leave her eat now. Don't stress her no more. Sorry, I guess I'm not natural with the country ways, but... Oh, it's all right. You'll come quietly. <laughs> 